Does hair color, dye, bleach affect the accuracy of hair follicle drug tests? Imagine sitting in a testing room, waiting for the results of a hair follicle drug test. You might be wondering how your hair color could influence the outcome. Hair follicle drug tests are designed to detect the presence of drugs in the system over a longer period, typically up to 90 days. But what happens when someone dyes or bleaches their hair? Hair is made up of a protein called keratin, and drug metabolites can be incorporated into the hair shaft as it grows. When a person uses hair dye or bleach, it can alter the structure of the hair. However, studies have shown that the chemical processes involved in dyeing or bleaching hair do not significantly affect the detection of drug metabolites. The primary concern with hair color treatments is that they may affect the hair's physical properties, such as texture and strength, but they do not typically interfere with the ability to detect drugs. The testing process involves cutting a small sample of hair, usually from the scalp, and analyzing it in a laboratory setting. It is important to note that while hair treatments may not impact the test results, the timing of the drug use in relation to the hair growth cycle is critical. Hair grows at an average rate of about one half inch per month, so the portion of hair tested reflects drug use over the preceding months. In conclusion, while hair dye and bleach can change the appearance of hair, they do not generally affect the accuracy of hair follicle drug tests. Understanding this can help alleviate concerns about how personal grooming choices might influence test outcomes.